I know I said I wouldn't be on today, uh, but here I am. Um, I was just um, thinking about um, in this time of quarantine, just um, what the Lord is, the wonderful thing he, things he's been doing. And I know there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of just total chaos now. But I just want to remind you that he's never lost a battle. And you know that I love music. I've always loved music. And uh, Ele Elevation Church a few months ago came out with this song called Never Lost. And I just thought I'd sing a bit of it for you because I know some of you like when I sing, some of you don't. Um, but like just to reiterate my message about he has never lost a battle. He never will. The death toll, um, maybe over 3 million around the world, but he's never lost a battle. He's still God. And I just thought I'd sing this to maybe bless you. Um, there we go. Miracles when you move, such an easy thing for you to do. Your hand is moving right now. You are still showing up after two of every last rest. Your voice is calling me out. So right now, I know you're able. And my God, come through again. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail cause you never lost a battle no you never lost a battle and then no i know you never will anything's possible by the power of the holy ghost a new wind is blowing right now Breaking my heart of stone, taking over like Jericho. And my walls are all crashing down. So right now, I know you're able. My God, come through again. You can do all. Things you can do all things but fail because you never lost a battle. No, you never lost a battle, and I know, I know you never will. No, you never lost the battle, never lost the battle, never lost the battle, never lost the battle. I know. I know you never will. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail. Cause you never lost a battle. No, you never lost a battle. And I know, I know you never will. He never will, even with this COVID-19, he has never lost a battle. We may have lost people, we may have gotten sick, we may have gotten financially devastated by this thing, but he wants me to tell you that the battle has always and will always be his and the battle is won. The battle is won. He wants me to tell you that the battle is won. 
and the battle is his and this world is still his. I don't know why this thing is happening. I don't know why it's gotten so bad that we're all locked out, but I do know that I serve a God who knows what he's doing. And I know, I know that I know that I know that I know that the battle is still his and he has never lost a battle. He will, he will not lose the battle with, with COVID-19. The devil will lose in the name of Jesus. I declare that the devil has already lost lost. I declare that the devil has already lost. I declare that the devil has already lost. And at the end of this, we will see the salvation of the Lord. Moses said in Exodus, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still. That seems to me to be very interesting. Now that we're all in quarantine. Um, I think sometimes in stillness, in quietness, we get to hear the voice of God. A lot of us are antsy to get outside. People are protesting in different places um, to, to open up businesses. I understand all that. I understand the economy. I understand all that. But he's saying, in this coronavirus, in this COVID-19, to stand still and see what he's going to do. Because when we're moving, when we're working, when we're doing our daily lives, we don't hear God. So let's use this opportunity instead of being anti to get out and possibly infect people, why not stand still and see what he's gonna do within our stillness. In the stillness of our hearts is the best soil for God to grow something beautiful. In the stillness of our hearts is the soil for God to grow something beautiful. Um, because we get to hear God, we get to focus on his word. So we use this time to really ask the Lord, Lord, what are you saying? And use this time to not only address your issues, but to get real with him about where you're going and your purpose, not only to get real with him, but use this time to ask your family and friends some real questions. I was thinking about this the other day and I was thinking quite often, we don't ask people that we love the questions that are important. Uh, we just say, stay with surface stuff, but the deeper stuff, we don't bother. And I think that's why sometimes relationships fall apart and divorces happen, is that because we stop talking. So let's use this quarantine to talk about the, not just the stuff that is bothering us, not just our issues, not just to deal with the bad stuff, but to um, find out where our loved ones are on certain issues. Because what happens in the beginning, we get to know each other, get to know each other, but, at, but as, as time goes on, we get so familiar, we stop asking those ever important questions, like what are you afraid of? What do you want in life? Uh, how have you changed? How can I help you along your journey? And, and we turn around and we don't know the person that we're married to. We don't even know the person in our own family. We don't even know our sisters. We don't even know our brothers. We don't even know our best friend. Let's use this time to get past the surface to the deeper soil in, in the hearts of the people in our lives, because it's very important for relationships to grow, that we keep growing. 
And I think when we stop growing and stop learning and stop changing and become stagnant, we we are in a very dangerous place because we stop living then. We may be going to work and school and all that stuff, but we're just existing. And God calls us to really live. He said, I have come, I am come, that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Another version said, to the full, till it overflows. He comes that we may have life. He wants us to live. And in order to live, we need to get get down and find out about ourselves and about the people around us. Um, And in this quarantine is a good time to do that. I, I was thinking the other day, a lot of people, the reason why they don't like being cooped up in the house is because they don't like being alone with themselves. They don't want to face themselves. Face yourselves. Face whatever is going on there. Ask the Lord, Lord, why am I having such a hard time with this quarantine? Why am I why am I just wanting to get outside? And nine times out of ten, there's a deeper issue than just wanting to get outside. Uh, there's a deeper issue that you don't want to be with yourself. So find out what that is and work that out in your prayer time with the Lord, Um, you know, because he wants you to be not just holy, not just set apart, but he wants you to be a whole. He doesn't want you to be half a person. He wants you to be whole and stop existing and start living like Michael Jackson said in... I think it was um, Heal the World, Um, his song, Heal the World. Um, So take care, guys. See you later. And he's, God wants me to say he's close to you right now. Whatever you're facing, whatever you're dealing with, he is close to you and he loves you. In the name of Jesus. Anyway. Bye, guys. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail. Cause you never lost a battle. No, you never lost a battle. And I know, I know, you never will. Hi, Brian. <laughs> um, if you guys want to know more about that song, it's called Never Lost. It's by Elevation Church. It's on their album, Graves into Gardens dropping this Friday. I'm so excited about this album. Um, the the studio version is the lead is sung by Tiffany Hammer, but the album version is sung by Torn Wells. And y'all, I just heard this. Uh, live album version and my god it's fire so um, it drops this Friday the album is called Graves in the Gardens and the song I just sang is called Never Lost so take care you can get it anywhere this Friday you can get it on Spotify you can get it on iTunes whatever you uh, stream your music, buy your music, so get it. Um, take care, guys. Bye. Never lost a battle. Never lost a battle. And so I know.
אהלן, נו, 